Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to upload your monthly data return to the UPM Employer Portal once you have completed it. In this demonstration, I will be using dummy data, which has been created for illustration purposes only, so as not to breach data protection rules. You will need to log into the portal using the username we have provided you with and the password you created when you registered. As you can see, there are four tiles on this screen and the one I'm using today is Start a Process. Once you've been using the portal regularly, the forms you complete the most will appear in your most frequently used list. You can access all the forms and submissions that are available in the menu below this one, the Employee Forms Hub. To begin the upload process, you will need to select LPPA Returns Employer Upload. It asks you to search for the employer you are uploading the monthly data return on behalf of. Once this box appears, you can type in the employer name or your employer reference and press search. And then choose the employer from the drop down below. This will bring up the employer name and reference. Once we're satisfied that the employer we wish to submit the information for is shown on the screen, we can click the submit button. You will then be directed to the upload process, which consists of five stages. The first stage is uploading the file from your computer. On the left of the screen, there is a column headed actions. You will need to work through the actions which appear in this column to allow you to complete each stage. In stage one, you will be asked a series of questions. The first one asks you to ensure you are using a file which is in the correct format, i.e. the data collection template supplied by LPPA. If you are, click on the question, then click OK. The second question asks you to confirm you have deleted the header row and saved the document as a CSV file. If you have, click on the question, then click OK. The third question reminds you that if you are providing details of any new joiners who haven't previously been reported to LPPA, you need to have completed the joiner flag and additional columns relevant to joiners as detailed in the spec. If you're satisfied any joiners have been notified correctly, or if this isn't applicable to you this month, click on the question, then click OK. Next, you'll need to select the pay frequency and the period start date. Click on the question. There's a drop down where you can select the frequency of the data return you're uploading. This defaults to monthly, so you don't need to change anything. In the date field, you'll need to enter the date in the format shown. So in this example, I'm uploading my January 2022 data file. So I will enter the 1st of January 2022. You can do this either by entering the date manually or by using the calendar. Once you've entered the date, click Submit. In the Actions column, you now need to click here to upload the data file. You'll need to search from the, for the file from the relevant folder on your computer. Once you've chosen the correct file, click Submit.
It will only allow you to upload one file at a time. Once the file has been uploaded, refer back to the Actions column and click Run Validations. The validation process is where UPM reviews the file you have uploaded to ensure the format is correct, all mandatory fields have been completed and that the data is with, within the parameters detailed in the spec. It can take a few moments for the validations to run. In the meantime, you'll be directed to your work feed. After waiting a few moments, refresh the screen by clicking on the LPPA logo at the top left of the screen. This will take you back to the home page. If you click on your work feed tile again, you should eventually find that once the validations have been completed, your file is now at stage two, data correction. Click on the item, then in your actions column, select view stroke edit data on the file. Any data errors identified during the validation process will be listed on the screen. You have two options here. You can either correct the errors on a line by line basis. We would recommend this if there are only a few, but if there is a significant number of errors or a recurring error on each line, you may find it easier to select reject and roll back the data in the actions column make the relevant changes to your CSV file, then begin the upload process again. In this example, I only have one error, so I'm going to fix it by selecting the row. Entering a dot here as shown, then clicking Edit Row. This allows me to amend the data for this individual member and a notification tab appears to remind me what the errors are. In this example, I haven't included the date of admission for the new joiner. Therefore, I can scroll down until I find the DOA field and enter the date. You can enter the date manually or you can use the calendar. In this example, let's assume this joiner joined on the 17th of January 2022. Once all the errors for this individual have been corrected, scroll to the bottom of the screen and click Save and Validate. This should return you to stage two and you can see the error message has now been cleared and a tick is showing in the modified column for the line of data that we've corrected. Repeat the process if you have errors on any other lines. A tip here for you, you can check all the errors have been completed by going down to the filter by drop down and selecting errors. If no lines appear, as in this example, you know there are no further errors. Now click on Close, then select Next in your Actions column. This will take you to Stage 3. Again, the lines of data will be shown on your screen and at this point you can double check that there are no errors that need correcting. If there are no further errors, you can click close then click submit the data in the actions column followed by next. You should now be at stage four of the process this is where you will be asked to save and validate the remittance advice in the actions column. Click on this 
then scroll across to check that the total contributions etc tally with what you were expecting. If you're happy, enter a dot in the select column, then select edit row. Then choose save and validate. If you're uploading a data return for more than one employer, for example, if you're a payroll provider or an academy with multiple schools, you will need to save and validate the remittance advice for each employer listed on the screen. In this example, I only have one as I'm only up uploading the data return for, for the one employer. Once you've saved and validated for each employer listed, click close. checklist in the actions column on the left will ask you have you saved and validated the remittance advice click on this question choose yes then click submit in the actions column click next to take you to stage five This is the final step of the process. You'll need to click on View Remittance Advice in the Actions column. Again, click Close. Then click Submit Remittance Advice in your Actions column. Then click on Submit to the Pension Fund. This will take you back to your work feed. This means the upload process is complete and LPPA will have received it ready to process.